right? Not a big deal. That was pretty violent. That's a lot of force in the body. Shock absorber. What I want you to remember, we talked about that fall clearance and how many feet we needed, okay? At the base of this, it's 12 feet. Right at that anchor point, it's 12 feet. So if I'm standing underneath here and I'm looking up, or if that's my feet at the top and I'm looking down, it looks like I have a good distance. Keep that in mind when we drop this here. Remember where we want to be at. As a manufacturer, we want to be the two times four. So as a manufacturer, you'll notice on all your equipment, it's going to say an average re a resting force of 900 pounds. So that's where we want to be in that ballpark. If we're under that, it's just kind of gravy on top of things. Okay? I assume when I made that, yeah, it was done. Right? Yeah, yep, okay. you're perfect. Any guesses on what we're going to have here? 750. 750? We want to be under 900, remember, from a manufacturer standpoint. Everybody ready for this? Okay, here we go. So we're at 690. Okay, so we're well under where we want to be. Okay, this person is going to walk away most likely until you see where their body ended up. What happened? If that's my body, I'm in big trouble, right? I'm a lot shorter. Okay, that's a problem. That's why we stress the importance of knowing your fall clearance and making sure you're using the right products in those situations. Okay, this person could have been geared up properly, thinking they're doing everything right. They have everything sized here, they have their lanyard on there, and then they fall and then they hit the ground and they're in big trouble. Okay, so we want to make sure we know what we're retractable. Doing. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. I'll reset the gauge here. Notice the difference in the fall versus what we've done before. Now, I've dropped this multiple, multiple times. This is for demonstration purposes only. We saw the ring, how it was busted. If you would ever see that ring, you of course would never want to put that back into service. But these are expensive and they'd probably fire me if I kept getting new ones every single time. All right, ready? So we're at 610. So we actually went down from the lanyard okay, and that varies from time to time. But how far did we go? We didn't go that far. That's why you're seeing that wave, everything going to retractables. Okay? We're gonna raise Adam up. I want you to see the effects on the body just even by suspending somebody. He's gonna tell you how that feels. We'll make fun of him a little bit. And then what we'll do is we'll have him do the trauma straps. I'll help him do that, have him step into that so you can kind of see the difference and he can tell you the difference between not having it versus having it. Oh yeah, yep, you're fine. Okay. You ready? Yep. Nice doing it, buddy. <laughs> How's that feel? Uh, a little tight. <laughs> a little tight? A little tight. Is it cutting in a little bit? Oh boy. It's hard. See, and this is the key point here, guys. This is put this on Facebook. It's, <laughs> it's already cutting into him, and we just lifted him off the ground. Think about falling. And, you're, and, and I didn't let him uh, strap him the way they should. I, I told him to loosen him up so you could see what happens when you don't wear it properly. Look at the harness. This is why we figured that into the, uh, the fall clearance because it's going to stretch a little bit. Okay? We want you to go over this a couple more times. Okay. <laughs> and so you got, look, at his, look at his chest strap. Look where that chest strap is just from not wearing it properly. It's already here from lifting him up. If he would have fallen, that's really going to knock him out pretty good. Okay? So let's go ahead. How's it feeling now? Getting worse? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's unstiffing those don't things awful fast. Don't pull that one. You'll, you'll, you'll break your ankle. You there. Say, I'll hold that strap for you. <laughs> okay, so you want to go to the one below your knee. Yeah. So right here. Right here. Right here. We'll take that. Oh, yeah. Does that feel a difference there? Much better. How much? Put your other foot in there. How much better does that feel? Yeah. Now, now thinking about this, before you had the trauma straps, how long do you think you could stay up there before it was just too unbearable? Uh, about another minute or two. See, that's the critical thing when we say that five to seven minutes, right? How long could you stay up there in those trauma straps? Uh, all, all, all things day. considered. I mean, you could stay there for a long time. Yeah. That really makes a difference. So you want to make sure, again, you keep your knees bent, right? Don't lock your legs. If you're up there for long periods of time, you keep moving your legs. Keep that circulation going until somebody can come over and rescue you. This is why we talk about the importance of a rescue. 
If somebody didn't have that, he just admitted from being lifted up, he had a few minutes left. If we don't know what our rescue plan is, we're really putting this person in jeopardy by not getting up there quick enough. Okay, so very, very important takeaway there. You all right? Yep. Yeah, this is worth every bit. Watch that release. 25 minutes. <laughs>